Today, I'm gonna to be making soft and chewy sugar cookie bars. These are from the Food Charlton. I will put the link below this video where you can click on click on it and go there and print out uh, your own directions. Uh, but you will need three fourths cups salted butter softened. So one and a half sticks of butter softened, four ounces of cream cheese softened, one and a half cups of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon vanilla, one and three fourths teaspoons almond extract, that's the clear one, it's kind of hard to see, uh, one teaspoon salt, two and three fourths cups all purpose flour, spooned and leveled it says, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then we're going to be making a batch of buttercream frosting, which I'll show you how to do that once we get to that part. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you want to line a 9 by 13 inch glass pan with parchment paper or foil to make it easy to come out and slice. Um, so in your mixer, we're going to beat 3 fourths cup of butter on medium speed until it is soft and fluffy. Now we're going to add our cream cheese and we're going to mix it again for another minute. So now you want to add your sugar. Now add your egg, vanilla, and almond extract. bowl down so now you want to add your salt cornstarch and your flour uh, but and mix it but don't mix it until it's just barely combined or it says it will make your dough tough okay we have our mixture and it is very very thick so I'm going to Plop it into my pan. Now it says, yeah, you cannot do that with that. It says to get your fingers a little bit wet um, and then use your fingers to press it down. And I can see why, because um, it's gonna stick or you can use some cooking spray. I will probably, I'll try it with some water and see if that'll work. Um, yeah, that, that helped a lot. Okay, so now this is gonna bake in your 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer for 26 minutes and uh, then we'll be back. These were in for 26 minutes, but it's starting to get a little brown around the outside, so I don't want it to get any browner. They are pale, but this is like a, a sugar cookie, so it's going to be pale. So we're going to let them sit here and cool completely before we even begin to make the buttercream frosting. To make the buttercream frosting, you need two sticks of butter, two and a half uh, teaspoons of vanilla, you need uh, one to two tablespoons of milk and you need one pound of powdered sugar. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine our butter and our vanilla in the mixer. That, by the way, I didn't say specifically, but that was um, softened butter. I'm moving it off of here because I want to be able to easily pour my powdered sugar in here. So when I start my mixer back up, I'm going to start on low. <laughs> because if Very you, low. Very low, because if you don't, this will go everywhere. And then, uh, once it's uh, incorporated, then I'll turn it up higher. And then, uh, after that, we'll see if, uh, how much milk we need to add. So 
to make these bars pretty, I'm going to add some food coloring. I want to make them pink. It's food gel. It's food gel, so I'm gonna put one in here and we'll see. I just want it to be a light pink. That's literally one drop. And I'm also going to add um, almost a full tablespoon of milk. We'll see how that goes. So with one drop, one drop of the gel, it made the pink color I wanted. If you're curious, we ordered these. Kevin found these on Amazon, Gel Life. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It's really cool, and you get all sorts of colors. Even white, which I don't even know what you would use that for. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea, but it works so well. So now I'm gonna take this and spread it. So now I'm just gonna pick these up right out of my pan. It's loud. And then my, my lasagna pan is clean. And I'm just gonna cut them into like bar size pieces, brownie size pieces, whatever size you wanna call it, cake size pieces. These soft and chewy sugar cookie bars are the stuff of dreams. Adapted from my all-time favorite soft sugar cookie recipe, these bars have a secret ingredient that makes them supremely chewy. The thick layer of buttercream frosting on top makes them irresistible. What makes them chewy? I don't know. And the only th big difference, oh, the cornstarch, I bet ah, you. Yeah. Tablespoon of cornstarch. So. That's different, but I'll tell you something that's very different is the amount of almond extract oh, yeah. usually because don't put a very teeny tiny one. normally you use like a fourth teaspoon of almond extract because it is so very very strong so when i was putting in what was that uh one and a half teaspoons or something i was like one and three fourths one and three fourths teaspoons of almond i was like wow this this might be too much we'll see so these are supposed to be bars so i want to see if i can pick it up you, you could Oh yeah, I could pick that up. And it's huge. They definitely have a chewy texture too. The cookie by itself, I don't really mm -hmm. like. Well, it's not that I dislike them. I don't like it by itself. Well, why would you eat it by itself? Um, but it's kind of got a, I think there's too much almond extract in there. What do you think? If you just eat the cookie part. I can taste the almond. Mm hmm Pretty strong. I do love the texture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the chewiness of it. And it's really good. It balances really well when you add the buttercream to it. Uh-huh. But, yeah, it's by the itself, almond. there's too much almond extract in just the cookie itself. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. You need it with the frosting. Um, my recommendation to you would be put one teaspoon, period. Mm -hmm. Don't do one and three-fourths. Um, it's a little too much. It didn't ruin them. I mean, like they're still edible, mm -hmm. but it it's too much. It's just too much of it. Um, you do not need that much. No. Is there salt in there too? Yeah, a teaspoon. I'm getting a salty texture or salty, um, like a flavor to it. That's not, that shouldn't be enough to really be able to taste it, but I can. I don't um, know why. If you talk about the uh, icing alone, what do you think? Oh, I love the icing recipe. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. It's a very basic buttercream mm -hmm. recipe. And you can add a little drop of uh, almond extract to that too if you wanted to. If you didn't already Ouch. have it. No, I'm not saying for this recipe. I'm saying for any other recipe, if you're putting it on a cake or something, mm -hmm. you could add just a little bit of almond extract to that and really um, bump up that flavor of the buttercream. It's if, really it, good. if it didn't have any almond extract, then the base would be 
very, very, very plain. Oh, like a like beyond plain. Like a very, very basic be sugar cookie. It would just be yeah. flour, basically. <laughs> yeah. So, so I do like the addition of mm -hmm. the almond. Yeah. But just don't use that much. It's just yeah. too much. Yeah, cut it a little bit. Um, and that the frosting, I would do the frosting exactly the same. Mm -hmm. That was ab it's absolutely wonderful. You could put that on top of anything. If you didn't want to buy your own, you could literally go buy vanilla frosting though in a tub if you didn't want to make your own. Mm -hmm. you, <laughs> you could, get, don't you think you could buy just vanilla or white frosting and put it on there just as good? Oh yeah. Just as good? Oh yeah, you could put, yeah, whatever frosting you want. You could put confetti on there, yeah. any kind of I mean, little You could put chocolate frosting if you really wanted any to. Any kind of little, little decoration you want. Yeah. Yeah, you but your own. I do think these are very, very easy to make. Mm -hmm. And I, like um, you said, I love the texture. Yes, the texture is perfect in the bars. The only thing is just a little bit less uh, almond extract. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.